Okay guys, let's talk about some new stuff that's been going on in the world of Kendama. I really want to try to make this video fast, so there's no time for tri- This is going to be Kendama News, January 2017, Rapid Fire Edition. So if you want to know about anything in more detail or you want to know my thoughts on it, ask me down in the comments and I will share my some more thoughts on it. But otherwise, I'm going to try to go through these, these things pretty quickly if I can. Definitely check out the links in the description below for inf more information about all the stuff that I talk about. And then, of course, I am curious to, to hear what you guys think as well and what your thoughts are on the various things going on. So please share them in the comments below. All right. Okay, so first things up, Grain Theory released the Prospect Mods today. They sold out really quickly. They did a new type of marketing thing with text messages and you, you know, you click on a certain link and stuff. I checked about 15 minutes after they had dropped and iNetters and the new Prospect Hong Boots mods had already sold out and then Two Bears was sold out not much later on. So those things are pretty hot. They look really good. Definitely check out Green Theory's YouTube. They have some pretty crazy and cool videos there featuring all three mods from all three players with the unique colorways. And yeah, seems seem pretty awesome. Next thing, the next gen homegrown kendamas also released today. They look incredible. I'm not gonna go into the details of 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 everything that's different about them, everything that's changed and improved, but again follow the link in the description. There's an Instagram post that sweets put out that kind of details the little changes that they've made to really improve and make this the next gen homegrown. I'm, I'm only assuming that it's a fantastic kendama, so go check those out. Fujin kendamas released a version 2 very recently, so check those out. They look great. Roots kendamas released the Roots Choice kendamas, which are partially painted and partially natty. Those look really interesting in there. I believe they're all hand painted, so go check those out on their website. Another new kendama company, Illusion Kendama, those are being released on Sunday in a day or two, and those look amazing. Glass art inspired Kendamas and the designs and the paint, they look pretty incredible. So Atlantic Kendama has a ridiculous sale going on right now. All their Kendamas for $15 only, It's that's just amazing. So if you if you want need a new Kendama, if you haven't tried Atlantic, if you want for one for on the cheap, definitely check that out. I don't know how long that sale is going on. You might want to act quickly. Sweets has also released their Sweets Jammers, which is their version of the Kururin. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. I'm going to have an entire other video about Kururins and all that stuff coming up. So watch for that video in the next few days or week or, or something like that. Sweets released those. They immediately sold out. Super small batch. I know that they're going to have a lot more in the future. In the meantime, there are becoming more and more places where you can buy the, the Kururin toy. Okay, I want to quickly list a bunch of videos you should check out. The, I will definitely miss some videos along the way that have been released, but these are the ones that come to mind quickly that uh, are noteworthy, I believe. Uh, TJ Kolznick released his fourth vlog. If you like Casey Neistat style vlogging, his vlogs are definitely inspired by Casey Neistat. I don't think he would disagree with that. They're really well done. So if you like that type of vlog, definitely check his latest episode out. It's episode four and he's posting it on his personal YouTube account, at least this last one, not on Kendama USA. Speaking of Kendama USA, Logan Tosta released his four year edit, which is amazing because the guy just turned 13 and he's already been playing for four years and he's placing in the top 10 in the world at KWC. And yeah, go check out that edit. Ben Harold released edit number six, which is mind blowing. Some of the tricks he does are just, just ridiculous and amazing and make me smile. So check out Ben Harold edit number six. Check out a YouTube channel called Kendama Club. They placed third in the Lace Space contest and they've been making some vlogs. I think they've made two so far, but I find them entertaining and fun and you should go check those out as well. And then there have been several videos released from Battle at the Border. The Sweets Life did a Battle at the Border. I think they did two different videos that are that are awesome. There's a video by Kendama OC called The Hat, which I found very entertaining, has some Kudurin stuff as well as Kendama stuff. And then there are some videos of the event itself, some of the, the final round, which was looked amazing. And then Uriel Sanchez has also dropped several new tutorials. He hasn't made any Kendama tutorials in a while, but if you haven't seen his Kendama tutorials, 
definitely check them out. He does a really good job of breaking things down, making things simple, and he, also, he always does it all POV. His tutorials are great, so go check those out. He recently released a tutorial on double inward UFO lunar flip, overhand butterfly, counterclockwise butterfly, and stilt. So he le released a bunch of those. Go check out his channel if you are curious on how to do any of those tricks. And then a bunch of events kind of have wrapped up and are happening. Battle at the Border, like I said before, wrapped up earlier this month. Seemed like a huge success, seemed like a great time. I, I wasn't able to go. There's some great videos out there and I did catch some live streams that people were doing, which were which were really fun to, to watch. I wished it was streamed live more officially, but I, I made do with the some of the Instagram stories that people were, were live streaming, so that was cool. Dylan Westmoreland's D Westies Murrieta Kendama Fest also wrapped up, and apparently that one was a great success, and everyone had a great time with that. You have the Smooth and Slay tour that is ongoing with Nick Stott and Wyatt Bray traveling around and having little events and doing some ladders and some contests, and that looks like a lot of fun. Those guys are great, and it would be super fun to catch up with one of those tour stops if you're anywhere close to one of the areas that they're stopping in. And then lastly, Slay Sin City just happened, so that'll be interesting. It's the very first Slay Sin City put on by Ryzen Kendamas, so I'm curious to see how that goes and, and what everybody thinks about it. And then the very last thing I want to mention is the Citrus Awards. Kendama OC, I hope you're following Kendama OC both on YouTube and on Instagram. They are really great group of players down in Orange County that contribute a whole lot to the Kendama scene, the Kendama community. And they recently did, I think this is the second, I believe this is the second annual Citrus Awards. Basically they're, basically they're the like community awards that are voted on by, by everybody. So if you haven't voted, definitely go and vote. Let me list the categories. Most flow, most creative, most technical, player of the year, amateur, player of the year, pro, video of the year. So if you haven't already voted, again, I will put a link in the description. Definitely go and vote. I think the more people that vote, uh, that's definitely really cool to be a part of. And I'm really glad that Kendama OC is doing it. I'm looking forward to seeing the results of the Citrus Awards. The last day to vote is the last day of this month, January 31st at 4 p.m. So by the time this video goes up, you'll only have a couple days to, to vote. So definitely go and do that quickly. And that's about it. That's all I have for this news video. I'm, I'm thinking about making a news video maybe once a month, kind of wrapping up the month, unless it's a really busy month and a lot's happening. I'm just going to do it like that, and we'll see how it goes. As always, I appreciate you guys' support and would love to hear any feedback that you have along the way. So I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.